and welcome everyone. This time we're going to take a look at an amazing modlet by our very own Jayik. And this is actually one of the test videos that he has on his channel, which teases a little bit of this one. But it's, I, I think it's amazing. It's really going to be good for the game. And this, of course, 7 Days to Die Alpha 17 and the new modlet system, where he's been putting in a lot of effort here after his firearms modlet, where you have baby cows or bulls, you have new crops, as you can see, and the animals actually grow up i believe you have chicken coos you have pigs and stuff like that you have crafting you have new recipes you have skill progression you see they grow up here i'm just gonna scroll through a little bit this is just showing how things are growing a lot of amazing things so this is a new modlet by jake that uh, by the time this video comes out might not have been fully released i know it's going to do it this week probably i think it was on thursday or something but it's just amazing so consider this a little bit of a preview i have a preview version of it that should be essential the same things but i'm sure he's going to be tweaking this just like the firearms modlet but the general steps of installing everything is all going to be the same so i'm going to show some of that and i really hope you enjoy it. and if you know try this one out because you know the problem with seven days tonight alpha 17 was the lack of new content and that this this model just adds tons of new content and poor bull got slaughtered there so yeah it's going to be really cool so let's get into it so here's one of the well i guess the red readme and it you know mentions some things how you install and it's like crop harvesting animal breeding blah 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 it's just a lot of things in here and he's been putting in things like new workstations, smoker, grill. Of course, you need that. You need your barbecue. And you have uh, like processing for the grains, for the wine, making wine. Cool. Butcher table, chicken coo, cow, pig. I mean, this is a really nice. And of course, you've got all these extra crops in there as well. Spices, herbs, grapes, tomatoes. Who doesn't like that? And then he mentions extra tools as scythe is that how you pronounce it bush and knife pitchfork and just just a lot of new things that is coming in here this is again this is sort of a medium to late game kind of thing because it takes a fair bit of effort to get your crops uh, up and running get your animals up and running breeding slaughtering them making the food but again this is really about extending i think the medium and long-term game probably not something you're going to do the first week so he's done a really good job and it's all new assets and it's all a modlet it doesn't require any sdx or anything it's just part of the modlet so he does mention how some of this work and he mentions how to install but i'll, I'll go through that here as well just a general thing and oh thank you very much jake for a call out here that's very kind of you and uh jaw is here as well yay yay for jaw so uh let me uh, go through some of this here how this actually works so check the download link in the description because that will give you the location to get the download because you need to download this whole zip file once you get that one you go to your steam Go to properties, right click, go to properties, local files, browse local files. So that should open you up in your main folder directory. Here you go to mods. If you don't have mods, you just create it and then you unzip it. And that's it actually. That, you know, that's all you need to do to uh, install a modlet. And you see here, keep in mind, the important thing is that the crop test final master should be here. When you click it, you should go down into this directory structure. Sometimes when these things zips up and everything, you have multiple of uh, multiple of the top level one, which might, you might means you might have only one folder, and then below that one you have these ones. You need to lift this one out so that they're in the folder at the top. And this is where you see the README, and you have all the configs here, which has the new blocks and materials and recipes. You have the item icons, which is all the new icons. Let me see here. You have resources which are the unity assets and that's the cool thing about the model system you can actually load unity assets as well so this is how you install it on your client so people probably wonder well i, I got a server I, I really want to use this on my server as well how do i do that one okay so what you do is that you go to your server and if you are for instance let me do that here if you're in steam if you're running a local server it's pretty easy you go to your server right click properties local files browse local files you go into this one which is the, basically the same thing as the client you create your mods folder you need that one and you unzip it here as well and that's it it's you know effectively since i have it unzipped here let me copy one over here and once that has been copied over and it's like 150 megabyte or something done this now is on the server now even though it's on the server, so that helps with the recipes and everything. 
each client also need to have this modlet. So your players also need to install this one on their Steam client, even as you installed it on your server. If you're doing a hosted server, the same thing works. You basically just go to your hosted server, upload this one, and bam, that's it. Most uh, server providers, I believe, have FTP access, so that's really easy. You just put this in, and that's it. It's working. Should be just fine. Make sure that if you update this version, that your players also update the version so you don't have a slightly different version with different icons and assets, stuff like that, because that can cause problems. Everyone should be in the same version. So now that we installed it, how does it look in game? Well, let's take a look. And here I've started a new game. Again, just to showcase it. Like many of these things, you might want to start a new world to test things out and decide whether you want to use this one in your main game because once you've added it, removing it is a little bit harder because you need to keep it in there in case you've been placing down blocks and items, stuff like that. So how do you use this, to use this one? And that's a really good question. It does mention that you need to craft something based on having a paper. So let's get some paper. Of course, I'm cheating in there. I'm in uh, creative mode. So let's see here. Let's see your recipes. Farming quest. Okay, that sounds good. Cal says, "Moo." I like this one. It's, I wait. Jake, we need this one as a poster. I need to be able to put this up in my base. This looks really nice. Just use this icon and blow it up. Give me a poster. All right, now we have a... Okay, let's read this. The quick quest should help you, blah, 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 blah. Sounds good. All right, so this is what you want to do. Craft one and place it down. So farming table... All right, so this is shows what it is. So farming, okay. So we're gonna just cheat in some of this stuff. Let's do iron, because obviously we don't want to spend too much time with it. Wood, we have a lot of wood. Yay! So now we go into farm table. Oh, let's do this ones as well. Ah, nice. Ooh, fence. This looks good. Okay, let's not get distracted. Okay, we have a farm table. Okay, let's put this one here. All right, take a moment, look at each of the tab, blah, blah, box separated, cool. So Jake has been putting tons of effort into this. I mean, I think that's it's probably something like 400 hours, something, I mean, he's putting tons of effort into this. If you see this all new assets, these are not in alpha 17. These are all new assets. I mean, it looks really good. Ooh, nicely up against this one. All right, so let's go into this one. And it says to, and of course it has all these different, oh, you craft seed packs, grain processor. Okay, smoker oven. You have the animals. And you have the knife and everything. Okay, so it says you should first do your jalapeno. I love jalapenos actually. Yummy. Delicious. And let's do flax. And let's do a uh, spice. Spice, not spike. Okay. Place it. Uh, okay. So you can't just place them, okay? Which means we need to hoe some ground here. Let's do that as well. Let's get a little bit of a hoe job going. And three. Yes, and now you place it down. This one, so it all has the quest to walk you through, and I think that's really nice. Let's go ahead and make us an animal breeder. Two types of animals, the crafters of farm table or are, are the workbenches, okay. And they breed babies. Okay, so you it's sort of like an animated kind of workbench. Okay, and I think we do that here. Can I do that coop? Yes, you do that. Actually, no, maybe you can do that here as well. Okay, it is. Okay, just checking. I wish that when you see these things that it would actually show, you see here, right? Uh, this one mentioned because it's something that is not in this farm table, it shows which one it is, but the ones that it is doesn't show, right? So you can, can tell. All right, so do craft. This is a chicken coop. All right, let's have this one and place it. Oh. Nice, look at this. You have a little chicken coop. Ah. 
uh, the head probably should not be going down into this one. But anyway, <laughs> okay, press E to use. Nope. Aha! So you use animal feed in order to craft this one. How do you get an... Okay, there's the... Uh, feed, animal feed. You craft this using corn. Ah, you can craft it based on other stuff. So if I do uh, wheat fiber, let's just take a... No, this one. And I do uh, animal feed. Let's do 500. If I craft this one, I get it. So this is how you actually get the animal feed. Okay. So while that is going, so you use this as a sort of a... Yes, 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 you're noisy. I wish I could name you. So let's see. So you add, you f feed them animal feed and you craft an egg. Oh, you get, f well, feathers here. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, Chiku. I went to some eggs. And you get five eggs. Okay. Oh, okay. Racing. Uh, how do you craft a fertile egg? Hmm. So that's how you breed them. Okay. So this is the like, so you get the eggs and everything. Oh, that's fine. With the into grounds, animal bedding. So we need animal bedding and we use a pitchfork to upgrade them. Ah, fertile dirt can be upgraded. With... Okay. So animal bedding. Okay. Fiber. Make sure we have that. Bedding. Okay, it's here as well. Animal bedding, okay. Let's get a few of these ones. And let's do some uh, feed. Let's get that going again. Okay, so now I have this one, which is the, oh, it's a block. Let's uh, dig, let's get rid of this one. For people who might wonder how you get the digger, you just type there, you hit the dead blocks, and now you have the digger. And this one is really useful for you testing things out. Three, four, five, and then we can place this one down. Two, three, four, five. Did I make six? I guess I did. Okay, so now we have these ones. And what did it say? Craft a fertile egg. So how you do fertile egg, okay. You need this one. Fertile egg. And this is not decorative plant. Oh, so this one needs to be updated. Uh, what does that mean? Where you get this one? Okay, let's see. It must be some of the these ones, not green processor. Alright, I figured it out. Not quite clear, but I guess it makes sense. So it's here. It's actually in the chicken coop, which sort of makes sense. You use the animal feed and you can get a fertile egg. And now I have a fertile egg. Yay. And there's also something about the pitch, pitch fork. And the pitch fork you make here, I believe. Pitch fork. So you can craft one of these. Pretty easy. And you use this one to... Ah. See, now I've converted it. You right click here. See, this converts it into the kind of thing that you can um, plant things. It's no longer just animal bedding, because animal bedding you can pick up. Hey, what's that? There it is. Put it down, and then you right click with the pitchfork, and now it's this one. So now I have, aha! Now I have the fertile eggs that I created in the chicken coo. It was just a different one of this one. He's been actually pretty good at separating them. Uh, food cooking, okay, that's fine. And then I take it and I right click and yes. So it's going to have, it's going to grow up. You go and harvest them, blah, blah, and harvest this guy. So young. Right, so, um, how did you harvest him? Uh, oh, it did give me the raw chicken. Okay, so let's do some stone here then. Let's make sure we get the stone. Ah, butcher table. Can I do that here? I know I need to do that here, I believe. Butcher table, yes. I stop with that one. Butcher table, done. All right, so now we have some meat. Whoa. Yeah, this one is huge. Let's put this one here. All right, process some meat into something usable. Think of the raw meat. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah, okay. You can read this one. Oh. 
Nice. Maybe the table needs a little bit of a higher res. This one is quite high res. This one is maybe lower res. Of course, one of the problems with a lot of these uh, these assets is that if you have them too high res, that means that the the download becomes really huge. It looks nice. Okay, so we press. <laughs> uh, what have you been harvesting and butchering here, sir? Mm -hmm. All right. So you can make. Aha. Uh -huh. So from one small chicken, I got 10 pieces. And you can craft. Oh, raw chicken. Let's do this one and let's do five of these ones. Okay. And okay. So I gather this one, jalapeno plant. Um, I don't think this has really grown up yet. So you probably have to wait a little bit. Let me try it. No, I did get one. Of course, I don't have the skills. So uh, let's get this one. Now, these ones grew up really fast because this is a preview version. Things don't grow this fast. Normally, it's not going to take literally a few minutes before things are grown up. Don't worry. It's going to take, I think, a couple of days in game time. Uh, obviously, it should take longer than just a couple of minutes. Craft raw chicken links and... Oh, I did that already. Hey. Raw chicken. Okay, let's make sure we get some raw chicken breast. Since we... Uh, Went a little bit ahead of uh, raw chicken. Oh, okay, raw chicken. Sorry, this one is the raw chicken. Let's, we don't need that many though. All right, raw chicken. Let's get one of these. Don't get ahead of ourselves. Okay, so we can make some hot wings. Okay, we need a smoker. Yummy. Okay. So go back to this one. So the farm table is really the central one here. Let's craft this big baby. A small baby. Or whatever it is. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, this one goes perfect. Just here. No smoke coming out of it. Maybe because it's not working yet. Okay, so it looks good though. Alright. So we have everything. Bam. Okay. <laughs> Gather. Uh, I have everything. Can I just drop this one? No, this one is broken. This quest is broken. I'm gonna have to feedback this. Um, so I, honey, oh, I got honey. Okay, that's fine. What did it tell me to do? Let's go back to check. You can always go back and check some of these things. Delicious hot wings. Right, so we put the smoker and everything. Okay. Hot wings. Oh, we need some wood. Okay, that's fine. Let's get a little bit of wood in. Let's see, cooking grill. Okay, so we need the grill. Uh, and uh, let's get a pot as well, just to be sure. Let's put that in. Put in the pot. Oh, I actually got the pot and stuff like that. Maybe they gave it anyway. All right. Hot wings. So you need the uh, raw chicken, honey. Oh, that's a lot of honey. Jalapeno and spices. Let's craft this one. Uh oh, uh oh. Ooh, now you have some hot wings here. Now the problem, the problem with monoliths is that there's no easy way to input descriptions, and that's a bit of an issue actually, because you can't see how much they give you. Um, I think that's something with how mod lists are done. It doesn't take the description stuff because that's all in the localization file. So I don't know how much this one actually get. But if I can eat them. Ooh, ooh, now I got a buff as well. Buff Mega Crush. Okay, so some of these buffs and everything. And of course I'm half naked, so it gives me a crush. Whoa! Uh, so you run faster for like 10 seconds. <laughs> Uh, that's pretty cool. And yeah, so this is this is it. I think the, the chest thing, uh, it was all the chest, the quest thing was uh, balked out a little bit here. I think it, when it have all these things, it doesn't have, it should have had the craft, the, uh, the hot wings or something and use that as a sort of as the finish of this quest. 
and but I think it was towards the end of the 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 whole the whole quest chain. But let's see what else we have. Well, we have the pig. So the pig, you need the animal bedding, animal feed. Okay, so bedding again. Bedding is plant fibers. You need that. So let me get just get some uh, bed bedding just to have that. And then you have, let's get a pig craft. And you had a cow. Okay, so you can craft these ones. And these are things that you have to place down on these on these ones. You can oh you can place it here as well. Oh, because these are actually the the oh damn it. Okay, that's alright. So these are equivalent equivalent to this one. It's not the other one. Um that's alright. So the pig Oh see they've grown up again. So the pig Aha, so this is for breeding. So let's craft. Okay, I need to get some more. Oh, that was noisy. Animal feed, okay. So I craft one of this one here, and I get the so. And then you... Oh, the baby one is a baby one. And we have this one. We can... Oh, you can get the milk from them. You give them feed, and you get milk. Oh, the milk... Milk man! All right, let's get the calfling as well. Now, obviously... The crafting times might not be this. Okay, so we need some more. Uh, let's make some more space here for the animals. Okay, did I have any more bedding? Yes, I did actually. Let's place that down. We need a little bit of space for them. And too little space. Let's make more space then. You need a... Oh, I need to upgrade as well. I should not forget about that. So you need to plant them down and upgrade and uh, to make it ready because this is just the, the one you place down and then you use the pitchfork. So is this enough? Yes. Ah, it's basically a... Uh, okay, it's a three by three item. Now you have the calfing and these ones will grow up. So these ones are the big ones, which gives you the, just like the chicken. This one gives you the so, and this one gives you this one, which is where you can get milk. You can get, uh, oh, this way you can just, you can just get this one, um, cause you have to breed it. Hmm, would be nice if you get something else, but I guess you don't get much else from the pig. This one you can get obviously eggs and feather. You can pluck it. You want some eggs, you get this one, which is really nice that you don't have to go and just find them all, all over the place. Of course, craft timers are going to be adjusted in the final version. Now, so this is the baby one. Let's see if I slaughter this one. You get five. I think you get a much different one depending on the size. And you get 10 as well. And again, this comes back to, here you have, you have the ground beef craft. And you have the ham. Oh, you need, if you want the Kobe beef, you need a lot more sausage. You need, oh, you need the herbs and spices. So you have all these different things that you can um, get from the meat together with the spices. Oh, it's running. Ah, so here's the smoke and fire. Nice. Perfect. So this one is running. And again, this is where you need all the different things, some potatoes and the different things. And uh, so if you want to get a seedling, the way to do it is get a seed pack. And how do you get a seed pack? It, let's see. You do this one. I think actually. I see recipes. Not seed pack. Uh, so I think these ones may be allow you to get seed pack. Ah, you actually, yeah, sorry. I think from this one, were you here? No, it just gives you more. Okay, seed pack. All right, seed pack. Give me seed pack. Depending on sugar, sunflower, wheat, tomato, herb, spice, seedling. Okay, seed. So I have one seed pack. Where do I get that one from? And, uh, aha, so you can make, 
this flax seedling from all right let me get some flax and then you get also from the wheat and everything let's get the this one okay so you use this one but let me how do i do the seed packs all right let's have a look here so seed pack you get from the seedlings that's fine but how do you get them to begin with so it's got something to do with that you get some generic seed pack and then you turn them into something else but you need to know how to make the seed pack or how to get the seed pack seed pack let's go through these ones wheat seedling do I get a wheat seedling when I oh yeah but this is the one I planted down right yeah it is okay so you get those ones I guess when you harvest yep jalapeno seedling yeah I think you get that one when you harvest as well so you have to sort of build up your your amount of seeds the seedlings and you turn those ones into seed pack based on these ones and once you have seed pack once you have the seed pack then you can then turn them into the uh, let's see uh sapling uh, the apple one you can do so. okay so it's you, you you get this generic seed packs from some of these ones and you turn those ones into the specific one okay that's pretty cool that means that uh, no matter what you have you can slowly expand to other stuff so you don't have to specifically find the let's see spices i have spices okay that one is not the seedling so you don't need to get the specific uh, like say the apple one from some apple tree you can actually craft that from other stuff you see here apple sapling let's see if i can put this one down oh, it becomes like an apple tree so there's a lot of these things that are, that are there that you can place down and then play around with them and see what was the other one herb seedling it's a lot of new ones and of course they will grow up Oh, that one grew really fast. I think everything is on accelerated. Our plant is says actually even which one it is. So this one is number two. Number two. Does this one show? Hey, what does? Oh yeah, it does. Here's plant the spice two. No, it doesn't. That's weird. So these ones are all have, but this one doesn't. Okay, so they all grow accelerated because it's the previous version. So you take all these seeds and you use that as part of your, not as the butchering because that's just from the meat. But you use them as part of the other stuff. So what else can we craft here? I think there's some other stuff. Um, frying pan. Craft. The site. I think was supposed to help clear. Nope. Uh, was that to fight? Whoa! Yeah, this is to fight. Okay, so this one is interesting. It's like a new weapon. Nice. I wonder if you get more stuff if you harvest with it nope got spices no seed pack flax plant still just got the flax and everything and this one the wheat <coughs> <coughs> hey, everything is going up here milk can i drink that one okay it does give you so some things have these information but they don't have any description but it has the main things at least okay so let's go back here so we can, else we can craft the oven let's craft an oven and let's use that one you have the dairy churn okay so let's get a iron no i have that one sorry what am i missing wood oh forged iron okay that explains it so wine cask, dairy churn, and a well. Okay, water. Okay, well. Okay, let's get that down. So, so let's have our little smoker here. Yeah, we need to have this one as well, which again, more stuff. Wow, this is a lot of extra food. That's really nice. Of course, you need, need extra stuff here. You need apples and sugar and everything. Let's see where you can else can take the wine cast this one and well. Let's put this one down. 
who doesn't want to make wine? So these ones are, I think the model that is in the game, but this is use, using them for something else. You can make juice, cider, and wine. Of course, we need that. Now you have the, oh, you can make butter. Okay, cheese, cream, cream cheese. Cool. All right, and then you have the, the well. Can I get water from that? Let's see, I get a uh, bucket. Let's try that out. Let's also get some bottles. Empty bottles. Does it say empty bottle? Yes, glass jar, sorry. So if I right click, oh yeah, it fills it up and this one Oh, you can't get this one from it, but you can get these ones. Hmm. So, uh, Jake, maybe that's something you should add. So you can actually get uh, from the water bucket as well. Maybe it needs to have uh, some kind of blue bottom here so it doesn't just look like it's uh, down down here. Because that looks a little bit weird. I mean, you could, I guess. Oh, okay. That's not really what I wanted. I was going to say if I make... Uh, some water, you can place that down. Okay, let's do this. Just, just try to make it a little bit cooler. That's not at all what I wanted. Land claim back, perfect. And now if I got a water. Okay, now if I put this one here, of course, perfect. And let's get some block, nope. Uh, steel. Get this one. If I place this one here, uh, let's get this one. Of course, you have to make it pretty, right? You have to see if I plant down. If I get a well, does this one look better? Oh, it doesn't. Oh no. Okay, Jake, you need to fix this. The model is. It's not even centered. Okay, so that's a little bit annoying. <laughs> so you can't even just put it over water. Okay, so Jake, I think you need to have a bottom in this one <laughs> so that it doesn't look like it's bleeding through because you can't actually place it on water because if all these ones are water, it's going to fall down unless you have support on the side, which probably looks a bit weird. But at least you can get water from it because you probably need that for a number of these things. Oh, that's real. Yeah, you need like the water, murky water for some of this. That's interesting. Cooking pot. Uh, so yeah, there's some of these things that you're definitely going to need to play around with. And let's see the wine. Yeah, this is the wine cast, but apparently you make cider and juices as well. So play around with it. And again, there's, there's going to be a lot of these things in here. And you just have to play around and see uh, how things work. But I think that... Uh, oh, see, they've grown... Oh, they haven't grown up. I slaughtered them. Never mind. So uh, play around with it. And again, it's not a early game thing because you need a lot of extra things. And I understand as well. And I've turned off zombies. I understand from Jake when I spoke to him that your animals, uh, like the one you put down, let's do like these ones. When you put them down, they actually uh, generate heat. And let me keep, can I put this on? And... Okay, maybe not F4, no. Okay, they actually generate heat. Uh, so that's gonna be an issue. Zombies or screamers are gonna be coming to investigate. So you wanna make sure that you have sort of a safe base before you do animal breeding. And I think that makes sense. Animals should be attracting zombies. So that's not something that you do all the time. So tons of new things. And it's really about farming, improving your farm. You see all this extra now, you have the wheat. You have the jalapeno plant. And let's see if I do my uh, skills here. Okay, let's do give self XP. Okay. I gain some levels. And let's do this one. Intellect. Buy everything. Master chef. Okay, I don't think it's that one. Uh, better barter. Where's that one? Hmm. I know this one that allows you to get. Dang, adventure. No, that's not this one. This is not this one. Master Chef. Okay, so I know this one that you get more seeds and everything. And at this, this one is going to work as well. Okay, it's definitely not this one. And not this one. This one, living off the land. Okay, so let's 
boost this one here. Let's do a living of the land. Okay, so now when I harvest this one, bam, you see I got five. Oh, this one. Oh, it's a tree. Okay, so you get this one, you get the jalapeno, you get the, this one, and you get the... So you get a lot more because you've perked up. So you now I got five for these ones. The recipes and everything, herb seedlings, you can craft. Aha, you can craft the herb seedling into herbs and everything. And uh, so having living of the land gives you a lot more extra uh, seeds of, uh, well, of the whatever it is you're picking up, just like in the vanilla game. And see, they grew up. Pick two, a lot faster than normal one. Again, it's not going to be this fast in the released version. But hope you enjoy and play around with it. And we'll see uh, where this one takes us because I think this is awesome. I mean, everyone have been talking about that wanted to have breeding. One of the issues with having... Oh, am I walking very slowly? Oh, because I'm... Okay, never mind. I'm encumbered. So one of the things people were asking about is breeding. And you're not going to have entities roaming around because that causes a problem. Imagine if you have an extra 10 entities, some pigs and chickens, whatever. That means that it's 10 less zombies that you can have in the game because the engine cannot handle all these entities walking around, pathfinding and stuff like that. So this is a really nice way of doing it. You have effectively, you're growing the pigs or you're having a chicken coo, something like that. It's still animated. It just doesn't move around. And, uh, and I think that's good enough or potentially maybe you could make it move around in a small area. But I think this is good enough because they're eating and stuff like that. And I think it looks really cool. You know, it's the I think it's the best way of doing it without spamming a lot of entities in the game. Instead, you have this sort of kind of thing that that grow up. So um, if you like it, provide some feedback to Jake. And uh, let's hope he provides more and more of these models because together with the firearms modlet, uh, this one is really awesome. I love it. So hope you enjoy it, try it out when it's out, and I will see you next time. Special thanks to the great patrons supporting the channel. If you would like to join the Vedic community and support these videos, do follow the Patreon link.